Come on, buddy. Two, one, time. We're back. I got the lineup here. We got Gabe's back in the building, Wyatt, and then yes, Ice Jesus has now returned. We're gonna run him through an off-season leg day, but first we're gonna work with Avi, and then he's gonna go to Wyatt for the speed work. So follow along. Let's do this. There was actually a study out of Japan saying that if you could activate cold response before a workout and then use your body's own metabolic system to heat itself back up, you're gonna get a boost of HGH, human growth hormone, naturally in your system, and also a boost of testosterone within the workout itself. We're gonna do some cold exposure pre-workout to get his sympathetic system activated on the front end. Once you go in the cold, your adrenaline's gonna spike. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to lower your heart rate through breathing, and that's gonna put you into a nice calm parasympathetic state. After that, we're gonna get into a little bit of deeper, faster rhythmic breathing to get you back up, show you have a little bit of autonomy in your nervous system and also your adrenaline and heart rate. We're gonna take Gabe through a dynamic warm-up real quick, get his central nervous system shocked, get that heart rate moving before he gets into this lift that Phil has got planned for him, all right? Hey, let's get into those A skips, nice and easy. Make sure we're keeping our chest big, shoulders back, knees above hip level, and toes and dorsiflexion, all right? There you go. Keep them up nice and tall, baby. Let's go all the way down, all the way down. Bring it back with the B skip. Knee up, extend that leg out. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's go right leg only A, come back left leg only A. Quick, let it touch the ground and get back up. That's it. Turn around quick and go left leg. That's it. There we go, baby. Good job, Gabe. After A comes B. So right leg down, left leg back. Make sure your transition's quick. Get it out there. Snap it down quick. That's it. Get up fast. Come on, come on. There we go. A skip on right leg. Single. And then the B when I tell you to, okay? Quick, quick, quick. B skip. There you go. Come on, fast. Left leg A and then B. That's it, get it up, get it up quick. B, snap it. Ah, work on that transition, bro. Lateral here, staying up, right leg only, keeping that knee high, toe and dorsiflexion, all right? Drive it. Good, bro. Those hips square, sit. Come on, baby, come on. We're gonna do some rapid response drills. Going forward, with a hip twist. Boom, boom, boom. Twist them hips, not your shoulders, just your hips. Keep going. Keep going until I tell you to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good, relax, walk back. You're turning too much here, so I want this movement. These hips, 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 hips. Twist them hips, there you go. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Good, relax. Bop, 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 bop. When you get here is then when you're transitioning. Moving up, going over, moving up. So you're gonna feel like a mechanical breakdown here, right? Because your body's gonna fatigue out. Move them feet fast. That's it. Transitions with some hips. There you go. Come on. Focus on what you're doing. Forward. Come on, buddy. Twist them. Nice burst out. Jumping out right, right, land on two. Make sure that we bound with that. Bound, bound. Pull that leg through. Right, right, land. Good, boom, get out. Bound, bound. Lean over the ball of that foot. 90% of that weight load is up on the left leg. Right hand at the ear, left hand at the pocket. Push, get out. The reason why my toe is dragging is because I wanna create as much leverage as possible, right? So if I'm gonna work on picking my foot all the way up here, that's wasted time. I wanna stay as close and linear to this ground as possible. That's why my shin angle is right here and I'm leaned out, boom, and I'm pushing. I'm literally pelling myself off of this leg right here. That's why 90% of your weight load and capacity is loaded on that quad. Keep that really tucked. There you go. Just like that, that is how you do a dynamic down here in Darushan. We're gonna go heels on, use the handles, coming down, let the knees track over the toes, keep the chest up, and then drive back up. You're gonna go external, then it's gonna come to internal, then you're gonna go back to external. So if you can't get into this range, pick your feet up just a little bit more. A little bit more, give yourself some room, and then drive it back. Go slow, control it. You got plenty of strength here. You don't gotta explode too much to where your feet come off. 
Just pause at a second so you're not bouncing, but stay in control of that weight. You control the weight, the weight doesn't control you. Take a brace, right? I want you to breathe through here. Expand the rib cage and then brace when you come up. All right, so you're gonna take a deep inhale, not through the chest, try to go more through the diaphragm. You hear? Right there. Down, 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 there, come up. There you go, do it again. I want you to put more pressure on the ball of the big toe on your right side, and then I want you to sit back into this hip here. Don't you pause, pause, go. That's it, do it again, just like that. Down, pause, go, better. Down, give me one more like that. Pause here, go, good, rag it in. Single leg, slide out, put the heel down, get this leg straight for me. Do it, hold that position, keep the foot inside. There you go, keep it locked, keep it locked, keep it locked. Now pull, there you go, keep it locked. Flex the toe, there you go, flex. Keep them flexed. Good, pull. You're going like this, don't do that. Keep the knee in line with the hip. When you go into hip extension, you need more internal rotation. What you naturally want to do though is go into external rotation because you have more space. When you go to extend the leg, think about internally rotating the leg when you extend. So you got to internally rotate the femur. Big inhale, exhale. There you go, that's it. Good. Tie in the adductors and internal rotators. Yeah. Here we go. Straighten that leg out. There you go. There you go. Keep the hip high. Keep the hip high. Come on. Kick this leg back. Slight bend in the knee. Three, two, one. Back up. Good. Again. Three, two, one. One, back up, good, big toe pressure. Turn the back leg, when you go to bring it back, internally rotate the back leg. Yeah. You go back up, feel the difference? You're gonna rotate, but keep the hips square. Rotate through, boom, boom, boom. Try not to turn too much, huh? Keep going, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay in it, three, two, one, good. Start you off and just get that rhythm, right? Get some traction in that spine. Chest up, good, chest up. That's it, chest up. Keep the legs straight. Nine, 10, relax. All right, right here we have the Mile High Trainer. So it is a hypoxic high altitude training device through Mile High Training. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him intermittent hypoxic training at six seconds all out. And then I'm gonna give him more oxygen to help recover in that one minute. So we're gonna go from hypoxic to hyperbaric. We're gonna improve on his ability to produce that force with low to no oxygen at a high altitude, somewhere around 20,000 feet above sea level, and then we're gonna give him oxygen to recover so that he can repeat power. It is gonna help with his anaerobic threshold, and it's gonna improve on his power production at a slightly fatigued state. As you can see, we went through the entire workout, so now we're gonna finish it off here with this hypoxic training. As I turn this dial up with the flow meter, I'm increasing the flow of air through the bag, and as I bring this up, I increase the altitude. So now I turn the dial all the way up, when I go to put the valve down, it drops the airflow. This is what he's gonna feel when he goes and does his maximal sprints. So at 20,000 feet above sea level with low airflow for six seconds, and then I'm gonna give him more oxygen in, bring this down to sea level so that he can get more oxygen as he recovers. So we have a pulse oximeter, so I'm gonna actually see his SpO2, total oxygen intake, and then also his heart rate as well in between the bouts of energy. Now, what I wanna see is him get above 95 to 98% in his SpO2 before we start again on our hypoxic training. So he's at 98% on his SpO2. Right now, he'd be ready to go. I'm gonna give him about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go six seconds all out. I'm gonna bring down the airflow, and I'm gonna increase the altitude. Dig, 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 dig. Rest. Cool, keep working, just keep working, nice and easy. Three, two, one, hit it. Come on, bro. Power, on, bro. power, 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 let's go. Dig, 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 finish. Time. Good, in it, fight it. Big breath. Go, finish strong, finish on, strong, bro. finish strong. Finish, dog. Come on, buddy, Three, come on, buddy. Two. One time. So quick overview of the workout with Gabe today. Our focus for the off season is general physical preparedness. So we're gonna be doing our first week of triphasic in the eccentric phase. So we are gonna be building more sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. We're trying to increase cell swelling and improve on muscle hypertrophy. So we're building up the muscle so that he has a bigger circumference area of space to help produce force 
with those muscles. Wyatt ran him through change of direction drills and acceleration. So accelerating through a static position, this is gonna help him get off the ball and be able to produce force from that static position. Going into the actual weight room with the strength work, we did heel elevated uh, SSB squats, more of that Hatfield squat position. So he's holding on to the handles. It's a five by five. So overall with the tempo, with a four second eccentric, one second pause at the bottom, explode up, and then one second pause at the top, is a lot of time under tension, right? So we are gonna be working on mechanical tension, metabolic stress, and also muscle damage. We're gonna work up to a RIR, a reps and reserve of two to one. So his last set is gonna be an RIR of one, leaving one rep in the tank. He is gonna only rest 50 seconds before he goes into that hamstring curl variation. So we're only gonna be working the eccentric or the lengthening phase of the, of the hamstring curl. So he's got one leg up, single leg, he's gonna drive all the way out, fully lengthen out the hamstring, drop down and then pull back in. And that's gonna be five reps each leg. He's gonna rest 50 seconds again and then go right back to the SSB squat. Going into the build phase, now we're working on solely building up muscle. So it's a three by eight with a three second eccentric. So the tempo would be three seconds down, one second hold, one second up, one second at the top, and then doing that over again. This was an RFE split squat. So we went from the anterior position anterior chain work into the single leg RDL for the posterior chain. So anterior, posterior, 1A, 1B. The rest in between is 45 seconds. So he's gonna do a rift elevated split squat, rest 45 seconds, and then go the single leg RDL, rest 45 seconds, and repeat. Finishing off with reverse hypers with the proteus rotation. So I did wanna work some posterior chain just to strengthen up and also trashing out the hips a little bit, trashing out the spine. And then from there, he's gonna go ahead and do the rotation with tension through that transverse plane. Finishing off with the conditioning for the hypoxic interval training. Again, the goal really is to allow him to produce maximum amount of force in six seconds and resting at 60 seconds. He should be fully refreshed because we're actually giving him more oxygen in that time that he's resting and then taking out all the oxygen, getting him in a hypoxic state and bringing up the altitude to increase the intensity of the actual training. So he's going to do four total rounds, six seconds all out, 60 second rest. There you have it. All right, so there you have it. Gabe, good work today. Avi, great job with the breath work. And then Wyatt with the speed and agility training and obviously me in the weight rooms. Wyatt, where can they find you? Coach Wyatt Griffith. Avi Lou on Instagram at avigreenberg.com. Gabe Neighbors. Hope you guys liked the video. Hit the like button in the comments down below if you want to see more of my man working and progressing. See you guys next time. Peace.